Richie, thanks for joining us and congratulations. Your side deserved those very, very big points. Um, deserved that. I thought it was, it was a nothing game. Probably shown one moment of quality. I thought for the first 20 minutes of the second half, they bombarded us and it was very good. Um, first half, we probably just edged it a little bit in terms of quality moments, but it was, I mean, it was just, it's just carnage, isn't it? It's just kick it, boot it, edit. Um, and you don't really want to set your teams up like that. But you have to come in and match the physicality because they're very, very good at what they do. Um, they've got foot players at the top end of the pitch that are very, very effective. In Roberts, I think they've got one of the best players in the league. Reed's scored a lot of goals. Um, and that's what's pleasing. We didn't have a team out today to physically really match them in terms of size, in terms of experience. Um, but I thought the players acquitted themselves really well. At half-time, they make four subs and they're bringing on players with hundreds and hundreds of games, the experience. Um, so a really good result in terms of the performance. It's not really one of, it's not a, what I really want to see my team do on a footy pitch. But you, you need to do it. You need to come in. You need to match them. And I thought at stages we we did. And the game that was decided with a rare moment of quality from Max Sanders. Yeah, good finish. We've been, obviously we've been match been a little frustrated because we've moved him around a little bit, um, different formations, and we just give him a license. We've got no bodies. Ollie O'Neill pulls out a train on. I think it was th- uh, Wednesday hamstring um, because we've overworked him we're down to the bare bones we don't have one fit winger in the, in the in the squad so we have to play Max on the left and give him a licence to roam in and, and find pockets and, and run um, but obviously then getting his shape defensive I thought 4-2 four t- four would would work against these I thought he did I watched him in in the week against Peterborough I thought he was excellent um, and I didn't want to play for it like Peterborough have got Peterborough's worth the risk because of the players that they've got in terms of the wingers and how dynamic they are. And if you outweigh that risk and you, you get the press wrong, they can really, really hurt you. Stephen is very, very, get the press wrong. Really good pressing from the front, so I didn't really want to play out and edge them onto us. So uh, we're down to the bare bone. We, we, we've come here, we've got nothing to play for and we've got a good result because of the, because the lack of bodies and the attitude that we show we've managed to, to dig three points out. And a clean sheet, you defended as a team. Defended the team, Sol was very good. We got done, we got blocked on one set play. Um, I think it was Roberts who had a free header. But apart from that, when you come, you expect loads of ricochets and loads of balls. These are brilliant. For me, they're the best team in the league where they put balls in the box and then they get the second ball, whether it be the edge, whether it be in and around the the second six yard box. Um, so we didn't really have too many. I don't know how many shots he had on our goal, but I can't remember being overworked, Sol. So. Like I say, we've, we've nullified them, which is the main thing when you come here. Travelling fans played their part and they enjoyed the celebrations with you at the end. Well, we come here last year and we had a full house here and I know it was a lot colder, but I think we bought 15, 1800 and we didn't make a murmur. And they bullied us from the first minute. We're 1-0 down after eight minutes. We're down to 10 minutes after 20 minutes and we just did not get you know, nothing out of the supporters. And I, I get that when, sorry, when um, you go early, early down early and um, the man sent off, but today I thought it was outstanding before that there seemed to be a bit of nonsense with Dan Sweeney involved listen what's it what's a what, world word called these towers is it <laughs> but it is though you come here these love it these do it all the time and the fans are giving me jam I, I love the supporters you come here they pay the money and if they want to abuse me and call me it's great but then when I come back at you I don't so I had a little trophy lift and then Sweeney's not happy with me um, he's a big lad I, should, I wish someone smaller would have come over, but um, I said, listen, I think that's just normal banter. If I do that with the supporters, they laugh at me, I laugh at them and we move on. The fact that someone's come over and escalated it a little bit has turned it into a little bit of a problem. I don't think he needed to do it. Did I need to do that? Probably not. But like I say, I'm down, I've got, I'm down to the bare bones. We've got no players, we've got no squad and we come away to six in the league and fight and scrap and give our supporters a, a really, really good day. So why, why shouldn't we do it? Does the rest bike come at a good time now with the international break? Uh, probably. Probably. Hopefully we might have Ollie O'Neill will be um, 10 days, two weeks. So he'll be touch and go. But apart from that, we, we, we won't have anybody else. No chance of Jordan Graham or Dan Ajay? No, they, no they, they will be seasoned. If we get to the playoff final, we might wheel them out. I look forward to that. All right, no Thank you very much.